Hello humans, welcome back to Dr. Rose Helps You Here. I'm Stephanie Rose and I'm an audiologist. Today I wanted to show you uh, what a moisture soaked receiver looks like at the part where it goes into the hearing aid and what a new receiver looks like and how we can prevent and treat the moisture on the prong junction of your speaker. So here is a normal dry speaker or receiver wire and that is the, the gold hook that goes into the hearing aid. And then here is one that is full of moisture. So you can tell it's very orange. Um, and through my magnifier, I can actually see like beads of moisture on the prong junction compared to this newer one. So that is definitely a symptom of moisture and we wanna take care of that because it will build up inside the hearing aid and cause distortion uh, or intermittent sound. So right now, I have the hearing aids in my uh, vacuum chamber. They've been in there for at least a couple minutes now. Right now I'm adding a UVC ball to the end of a retention line so it's easier to find the tail to stick it in your ear. Don't look at the light. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and suction into the receiver junctions where those little wires will plug into the hearing aid. I've already put them in the vacuum chamber for like 10 minutes. It's a good uh, connection inside there. Now I'm gonna connect my receiver, making sure I have the correct side. And that's a nice good sound coming out of it. Same here with this right one. Now I'm just gonna add the dome back on checking the little nub in here to make sure it's all the way down the nozzle and on the receiver tight. And then I take my trusty tweezers and I will curl these down. Sorry, I already pre-curled it off camera, but that's what it's gonna look like. It's ready to go. So again, I'll just recommend that this patient uses a dry lux every day uh, for a 45 minute drying cycle so that we can prevent moisture buildup in the prong junction of the receivers.